Good morning, we are on lesson two of module five, and we're gonna talk about shapes today. We're gonna to focus on rectangles. We're gonna start on the second part of the problem set. So rather than being on page five, we're gonna turn it over and be on page six. We're just starting here because they said, the number three question says, is the shape a rectangle? And they have two shapes there. And I wanna talk about rectangles a little bit before we do that. So, rectangles have something called parallel sides. And so that means this side goes the same way and these two sides go the same way. That's one attribute of a rectangle, one part of a rectangle. The other part is that it has something called a 90 degree angle right there. That has to be a sharp corner. It can't be a corner like this. This would not be a 90 degree angle. So when you're looking at rectangles, they look boxy. They look like, they don't look like a diamond or a rhombus or anything like that. They have to be able to put a little square in the corner. So when we look at this question that says, is the shape a rectangle? Let's think about two things. It has two parallel sides. These sides match these sides, and this side matches this side. So they're parallel. They go the same direction. They would never cross. So we can say sides are parallel. Para, uh-oh, this is still needs to learn how to spell sides are parallel. That means that the sides go the same direction. Now, remember the other thing we talked about, that the angle in the corner has to be something called a 90 degree angle. That means I can put a square in there. And so yes, that, that each of these little so corners turn into a 90 degree angle. So we're going to say corners are 90 degrees, okay? Which means you can put a little corner, a little square in each corner. Okay, the next one, is this shape a rectangle? Now remember, we have to have sides that run the same direction. So that side and that side, they're the same. So that part's true. And this part is also true. This side and this side run parallel. So that part could make it a rectangle. But let's look at the corners. We can't put a square in there. It won't work. It's not the right angle. These are not 90 degree angles. So we're gonna put X's on those. So we're gonna say this shape does not have a 90 degree angle. Okay? That's it. I'm going to leave that there for just a second. So when you're looking at shapes and we're looking at rectangles, they're very specific. They have to have those things. So let's look at the number two. We're working backwards today. Circle the shapes that are rectangles. Let's remember what we know. They have to have parallel sides and right angles. So this one will work, huh? Let's look at this one. Oh, I gotta sneeze, hold on. <sighs> Excuse me, so sorry. <laughs> parallel sides, which means the sides go in the same direction. This one works. But are the angles square? Nope. So that one won't work, we won't circle that one. This one has parallel sides, which means they go the same way, and two parallel sides on that side, and square corners are 90 degree angles, so we can circle that one also. Let's look at the shaded one. We have parallel sides, the sides run to the same direction all the way, and 90 degree corners or angles, so we can circle that one. This one has only three sides and they all run not parallel, so we can't do that one. Uh-oh, 
What about a circle? Is a circle a rectangle? No, it doesn't have any corners and no sides, so that one won't work. We won't circle that one. Now this one looks a little tricky. What can we say about this one? Let's see, these sides run parallel, right? So that will work for our rectangle attributes. But this one, they don't run parallel. They'll eventually cross. So this will not work as a rectangle. Also, what about the corners? You're right, that is not a 90 degree angle. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's go to the front page. This is kind of fun. It says, use the key to color the shapes. And then you're gonna count how many shapes of each color that you have. Okay? So, let's start with the red one. And it says, four-sided shapes are red, yellow are five-sided shapes, blue are shapes with no corners, Green are three-sided shapes, and black are six-sided shapes. So let's start with my red one. All the red shapes are four-sided. So there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So both of these will be red. One, two, three, four, red. One, two, three, four, red. That only has three, that has three, that doesn't have any sides. One, two, three, four, so this will be red. Oh, there's lots of red. What is this shape supposed to be, a tow truck? And this one has one, two, three, four. This one is also red. This one has one, two, three, that would not work. One, two, three, four, this one will work red. There's lots of red ones. Okay, I think I got all my four-sided shapes. I'm gonna put my red color crayon back and get my yellow color crayon. And it says five-sided shapes. Are there any five-sided shapes? I don't see any five-sided shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh, I don't see any five-sided shapes. I'm gonna put that yellow one back down. Oh, I'll put a zero right there. Let's go back and count my four-sided shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many? with no corners. Blue shapes with no corners. Grab my blue color crayon. So no corners would be a circle, and 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 oops, and a circle. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven of those also. And now I'm gonna do green. And it says three sided shapes are green. So I have one, two, and this long one up here. So I'm going to count them. Triangles are one, two, three. And I'm going to put a three on the line. And the last one is a six sided shape. What is a six-sided shape called? It is called a hexagon, and we're going to color it black, and there was just one. Let's make sure there's six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna color it black, like the directions say. And there is one six-sided shape, so I will write a one right there. Let's check out our shapes and see if we can name them. Do that really quickly. I see triangles and squares and circles and rectangles and rhombuses and trapezoids. 
I'm going to show you a rhombus. A rhombus is when the two sides go in. And a trapezoid. Trapezoid is when everything is parallel. Trapezoid, trapezoid, triangle, rhombus, circle. Circle, circle, hexagon, square, triangle, circle, 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 square, rectangle, rectangle, triangle. That was kind of a fun page to do. Keep working on your homework and um, I'm gonna turn this around. Just a quick thing to talk about. Uh, it's, it's getting old, this virtual learning, and I know we're all tired of it. And some of your parents are telling me that you guys are just having a hard time getting your work done and that you don't wanna do it anymore. And this morning when I got up, I felt the same way. I felt like, oh, I don't wanna do my math. I just wanna hang out, stay in bed, watch TV. We still have an obligation to do our schoolwork. It doesn't have to take you all day. It's best if you just get up in the morning and get it done. Um, just like if you were at school. Everyone feels kind of the same way. We're just tired of this, but I want you guys to keep working and I want you to know I pray for you every day because I worry about you a lot. And I love you and I miss you.